properly. Please give it up for Mr. Daddy O. Hi everyone. Hi. Hello. All right. So I hope you guys don't mind. I'm going to read a little bit to you just because I've smoked a lot for many years. So short-term memory. <laughs> Nice to see a full room. Thank you for coming. So my nickname is Lucky Charms. That's because my mom's the horseshoe and my dad's the ass. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have ADD and OCD. And years went by and the OPP and the RCMP followed me. <laughs> now I deal with PTSD. <laughs> I don't believe in a God. I'm sorry, my friend. <laughs> I think there's a bunch of people out there mocking me. In other words, I don't have gods. I have hecklers. <laughs> you got to live life in my shoes. There's an author writing a book about my life. I hope they turn it into a movie. And to, just to make it realistic, I really want them to get The Rock Dwayne Johnson to play me. <laughs> I used to be involved in organized crime. Keep it to yourselves. <laughs> That's really affected my parenting skills. Some parents give their kids timeouts and take away privileges. I make them an offer they can't refuse. <laughs> and instead of giving them allowances, I send them to a friend of mine who's a loan shark, so they get better rates. <laughs> I have a different perspective on Family Feud. On the show, the losers get 10% off of the winnings. In real life, the mob version, the losers get custom cement boots. <laughs> so mobster version of Family Feud goes like this for me. Hey, Frankie! I'm going to kill your lieutenant, because you guys killed my cousin. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to kill one of your captains, too. <laughs> I have a heightened ability to hear. I can hear anything except my spouse telling me to keep away from the laundry, or help her clean up, or even when she's had enough and says, see ya, and I'm out of here. That actually happened last night. An hour later, I'm calling her going, where are you? <laughs> it's funny now, it wasn't last night. <laughs> My favorite response when she asks for help is, when it comes to anything, is let's get the kids involved. <laughs> actually, I'm like an old house, always under construction. I have so many disabilities and abilities to disappoint anyone. I have a saying, if it's not challenging, it's not meant for me. Putting it mildly, my issues have issues. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I have a 14-year-old stepdaughter who wants to be a psychotherapist. I can tell because every time we talk, she tries charging me 250 bucks. <laughs> She's not even covered by insurance. <laughs> so once she told me about a boy who asked her out on a date that she wasn't very fond of. You know what my advice was? I told her to say this. She couldn't go out with him because he was going to be a future client. I also have a newly 13-year-old, newly turned 13-year-old stepson. I have to mention him, because he's the perfect child. His favorite line is, I forgot. So on Fridays he gets home, I'll ask him if he's got any assignments for the weekend. He'll say, I don't know, I have to check. And then Sunday comes along, 
you know, it's in the evening. We've had a full weekend, basically, sleeping in Xbox. And I'll ask him, have you done your assignments? Have you even checked? He says, actually, I forgot. <laughs> so now I'm thinking, once again, uh, excuse me, I said this line already. <laughs> so now I'm thinking of getting him t-shirts made for one, one for each day of the week that says, I forgot. <laughs> and he's really cute when he says it. He says, I forgot. <laughs> so one day, my spouse went, in, went to the river to find gold. She is a gold digger after all. <laughs> so how did she end up with this big rock? <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud to say I've traded in my suits and my cars and my money to be working a sticky-handled shovel and an amazing family that came with it that I love and I adore and they make me laugh. And that's all I have for you tonight. Thank you.